Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Sermon Highlights. Today we're here with our pastor, Dr. Harold Thomas III. And sir, I want to thank you for coming back here, giving us the highlights, the main points of the message that you preached. Thank you so much, Elder. I'm delighted to be here and thank those for taking the time to watch this Sermon Highlight. Today's title was Making the Time. Time. Oftentimes we're so busy with our day-to-day -day cares that we don't make the best use of our time. And time, as one author said, is the equalizer. I took my text from Matthew chapter 25, verses 20 through 29, the parable of the talents, where one received uh, five, one received two, and one received one. One with five doubled, the one with two doubled, the one with one did nothing. Some doubled the amount that they had, and God blessed them for their faithfulness. But the one who did not use his, God said, you did not make the right decision. The key thing I wanted to say, it wasn't necessarily what they received, the amount they received. The equalizer was they all, they all had time. They had equal time to use what God gave them to make, uh, to gain interest, to double, to use it to build his kingdom. And so with us, everyone, when we're born, we're given a time and we're given talent. We don't, we're not always given the exact amount of time we live, but just like the parable, we're re we are rewarded for our faithfulness. Not how much we had, but our faithfulness and using the time God has allowed us with the talents he's given us to build up his kingdom. And oftentimes we as Christians are robbed of our best use of our talents because we haven't used, made the best use of our time. So today I just talked about how we use our time. Oftentimes we're overstretching our margins that we're running on E. We run around with car driving around on E, bank accounting negative, running late to work, running late to appointments, don't have time to cook a good meal, can't take time to tutor our children, and it adds to stress and stress. So one author, um, Dr. Swenson, Richard Swenson, in his book Margin, he talks about how with, in school we had a paper, a white paper, and we had the lines, we had the red lines for margins. When we write out, when we go outside the margin, the red line, though we have paper left, but the intent is to stay inside the margins. The same thing with our lives. When we run outside of our limits, we're actually overextending ourselves. That when a true crisis comes, we have nothing to give. And so today I just shared tips on how to improve your time management or to redeem your time. Make time for God, make time for your family, make time for relationships. And double back to this make time with God. One of the first gifts God gave to Adam and Eve once he finished creating them, one was marriage, the second one was the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Time with him, time with him. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Make time for God, make time for your family, make time for your relationships and don't be afraid to say no when you overextend yourself. No to unnecessary debt, no to over, uh, unnecessary, unnecessary commitments. Um, also prune some of the extra activities that are overextending you. Bring it back in so you can stay within your margins. Um, and finally, Keep God first, and he'll take care of the rest. God bless. Amen, amen. So the overarching uh, thing is to make time for God, right? And family. <laughs> and family. And family. Time for God, time for family. I know the kids are outside making time for laughter. That's right. So, so We should learn from them. We should, yeah. So make time. But Pastor, I want to thank you for coming back here and sharing with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right.